As soon as I was sent the script um, and I started to read it, I was laughing out loud. And I, and I know we'll talk, probably we'll get into like my character stuff, but I really couldn't believe what a fabulously juicy character I also was presented with in, in playing Savannah. Um, I couldn't, it, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Tony Collette. That was a dream idea for me, and it has been. It has been just incredibly awesome. I've. I love to work with actors that I can learn from, and uh, it's. This has been one of the best experiences of my life. Without, I hope that sounds sincere because I truly mean it. I hope that audiences can relate to the idea of an insane family fighting over, um, over material, and, um, and I hope that they laugh, of course. I hope that they, um, I hope that they root, I mean, selfishly, I hope that they root for Savannah and Macy. Um, I don't know if they would necessarily root for my character, but I do think that her intentions are good because she just loves her sisters so much. Going back actually to the earlier idea of what drew me to the script was this idea of a ferocious loyalty that Savannah, my character, has towards her sister, um, Macy, played by Toni Collette, and how she would do anything for, for her sister. When we first meet Savannah, she has just thrown a cup of coffee into the wrong bank manager's face and kicked him in the balls. And she is, she's not apologetic. And it's not that she doesn't feel that way. It's, she, she has capacity, but she, um, her love, this is like, a, I viewed this as a love story between Macy and Savannah which was like, Macy has this scrappy, l loyal sister who is, um, who would do anything for her. Truly, like, take a bullet. And I, I love, I've always wanted a sister. <laughs> and I really loved exploring sort of that, that kind of sentiment. You have so many incredibly brilliant actors. Oftentimes I would be on the brink of forgetting my line because I would be watching David Duchovny do something absolutely inappropriate and hysterical, sometimes off camera. Um, we have like Tony who is like serenely thoughtful and beautiful. Um, Rosemary and Ron playing James and Beatrice are this acrimonious um, but very subtle performers. And then Kathleen Turner, who I had the honor of working with earlier on with Mom, the show that I, I was on, um, to have her um, sort of brazenness. And it, it was just unbelievably delightful to, to get to watch everyone play. And, and everyone's so incredibly professional, but unbelievably talented. And it was, and generous, which you don't always find, in comedy especially, I think, that every performer, I really think that we all appreciated each other. The family dynamic in the estate is insane, but insanely relatable. Um, my, the, our mom is at, war with Aunt Hilda, who owns this gorgeous estate. We are all fighting for, we're kind of like hoping for her death, and we're all hoping and fighting for her and for the inheritance that she would leave behind. 
Um, and so it's incredibly selfish. It's sort of like the ugliest of all of us. Um, but fundamentally, it feels kind of righteous, <laughs> at least from my perspective. Every, like most families, you wouldn't necessarily put them together. Everyone is very much an individual. Um, and to see everyone combined, it's like, you know, sort of the Thanksgiving from hell that we all get to enjoy, which is, has been just delicious. <laughs>